Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you five more effects that they use in the Mr. Beast game show. All the way from animated money barriers to God rays shooting out of a character you wanna highlight. Incredible 3D text animations you can track into any scene. How to change the color of someone's clothes to showcase maybe they're eliminated. Player, profile icons, and more. So I hope part two is satisfactory and I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So I'll start with the easiest effect, which is changing the color of someone's shirt or anything in After Effects. You can see here I have my Mr. Beast Games player with this blue jersey. And all we need to do is go to Effects and Presets and type in Change Color. And here we have Change Color. We'll just drag that onto our clip. And in the effect control, as you can see, Color to Change, we'll grab that eyedropper and we'll select the blue color of his shirt. And then right here, match colors. Instead of using RGB, we wanna use hue. You get a much better result if you do that. And then at the top right here, hue transform, we're just gonna start cranking that up and you can see his shirt start to change. So let's say he got eliminated. So I will change his shirt to red. And under change color, you can mess around with saturation. And you can see a little bit got onto his pants right here. So under matching tolerance right here under change color. So if you crank that down, it will get rid of the red in the places that you don't want it. And bam, now maybe this guy has been eliminated, so we've changed his color to red. Or let's say he just won money, you can just keep cranking the hue transform until it's green. And that is how you change the color of uh, anyone's outfit in After Effects. And for the second effect, and maybe my favorite, is god rays or light beams, like shooting out of people or details in a scene. They would use this effect really randomly, sometimes for flashbacks or like intense scenes, like during the negotiation during episode nine. Like this clip here, I'm about to show you how I just did this in After Effects. So here we have my Beast Games player. And for best practice for this specific effect, we wanna mask out our character. And once you have a clean mask of your person, we are good to go. I'm about to give you a tip that's gonna change your life and it's free. If you go to productioncrate.com and you go to tools, under their After Effects uh, category right here, you wanna click on God Rays. And you just wanna download this plugin. It's one of the best plugins I've ever used in After Effects and it's free. So now let me show you how we're gonna use it in this case. So here we have our masked out character. So now in Effects and Presets, if we type in Crate right here, we'll Crate God Rays onto our mask and just look how crazy that is you know in this particular instance the default settings I think are way too much so the best way to animate god rays is in the effect controls you'll see input right here under threshold we're just gonna crank that up basically that's gonna isolate the light streaks to only affect like the brightest parts of your image and then you'll see position right here we'll click on this guy and then we can move around the light rays however we want let me solo this really quick so you can see what I'm doing here and I think the light rays look the best when I put the position down here. So all the light rays are shooting up into the sky. And if you watch back a lot of these scenes, they desaturate the background. And because we've masked out our character here, what we can do is on our original layer in effects and presets, we'll type in hue and saturation. We'll just bring saturation all the way down. So then when we put the mask back on top of it, we get this incredible cool look. And just a few tips with this plugin, under style and effect controls, you can control how bright the rays get. Like they can be this intense. And then length, you can make the rays really short or long, which means you can keyframe length to be long and then maybe start at zero. So they shoot out over time. And then we'll crank up decay, and decay is how much brightness is in like the length of the light. And that is the incredibly cool way to stylize a scene. And just really quick, let's say you don't wanna mask your person out. If you type in uh, God Rays into effects presets and put that on the whole scene, what I would do in this case is just go to input and crank threshold, threshold up really high. Put the position, you know, you can see where you're gonna get the most out of your light beams. Usually it's with the position down low, so all the spikes are shooting up. And then you can have a scene where there's God rays on everything. Cause sometimes they also do that in the show. It's not just isolated to one player. So now for our third effect is something I'm calling a money barrier. They use these in the first episode showcasing bribes that different players are accepting. You can see here, I've replicated this effect, I think perfectly in this tennis court. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it as well. So first things first is getting this specific money look. So what we're gonna do is actually down here on this button, we're gonna create a new composition. And 
and I'm just gonna name this money. So I'm gonna grab the text tool and I'll type out 50K. We'll scale that up to be pretty big. And then the exact font that they use in the show is called Russo One. And now to stylize the text like them, we're gonna type in the effect noise. We're gonna crank noise to be like 70 and then we're gonna uncheck use color noise. So now our text kind of looks like this. And then in effects and presets, we're gonna type in Venetian blind. And then the effect controls, we'll change the direction to 90 and we'll set the transition completion to about 10. And then under width, we'll change it to um, 15. Looks absolutely beautiful. And now in effects and presets, we're gonna type in drop shadow and we're gonna change the color from black to red. We're gonna increase the softness and the opacity. And now we have perfectly stylized text just like in the B show. Now how to animate this with the money barrier. So you'll take your shot wherever you wanna have your money barrier pop up. In the B show, it was actually a tripod shot. So this step right here, you can skip. But for this one, since it's a moving tennis court, what I'm gonna do is go to tracker and then I'm gonna hit track camera. So you can see here, I have my scene 3D track and I'll find a target that's like flush with the ground. Right click and I'm gonna create solid. And then from there, we can scale out our solid to be as wide as we want the money barrier to be. Something like that looks really juicy. And then we're gonna go to effects and presets and type in fill and we're gonna put this on our solid layer. Make it whatever color you want. Red is actually the color I want, so this works perfectly. And now the cool part is remember God rays, we're gonna type that into effects and presets and we're gonna put creates God God rays on this tracked solid. Oh, and super important, right here in the layers panel to select rasterize on this track solid so it will accept effects. So now if you look, we can see our little red beam. We're gonna grab position on crates God rays. Just bring it down pretty low. So if you can see my center thing here, I'm actually just dragging it really far down so my light kind of facing straight up. And we'll set this track solid to add. In crates God rays, we're gonna crank up the exposure to really emphasize like the barrier wall we've created. Like that looks really good. And then length, we're actually gonna bring the length down because we don't need it to be this long. I think right there looks pretty nice. In fact, I'm gonna bring the center down even more so our barrier looks more like straight. And then in decay, I'm gonna crank that up so there's kind of like a natural taper off from how saturated the red is to the top. This is without God rays and this is with it. I mean, I think this is a pretty incredible effect. So now we basically have this translucent red wall tracked into our entire scene. And so so now to make the, the animation where the barrier pops up, we're gonna create a keyframe for length. And this is how uh, I like it. So I'm just gonna create a keyframe right here and I'll bring it over like a second or two. Then I'm going to keyframe the length to be zero. So you see over time that the length will pop up like this. If we select these two keyframes and easy ease them. If we open our curves graph, it's important to start this keyframe really fast like this and bring the second keyframe in. So you start fast and end slow. And if we watch that back, it's actually not happening fast enough. So I'll bring this closer. Honestly, that looks incredible. And when you look at the reference material for this effect, it slowly uh, fades away. So once it pops up like this, I'm gonna create a keyframe for exposure. And then over a few frames, I'm gonna animate the exposure to go back to zero. So now when you watch that back, our barrier pops up and we're slowly left with just the red line, just like in Beast Game. And so now the way we're gonna incorporate our text into this is we'll come back and click on our 3D camera tracker and we'll just create a target um, near this section. And what we're gonna do with this solid is we're just gonna actually move it. We're gonna move it to where we want our money text to pop up. So right here is perfect and what we're gonna do, so we're gonna take this composition, which I titled Money, and if you hold down Alt and drag it onto the layer you wanna replace it with, bam. Now we have our 50K where that track solid was and now we just have to scale it up. So now if you watch that back, our money is 3D tracked into the scene. And what we're gonna do is right as the red bar starts to pop up, we're gonna animate this text to pop up with it. So I'll create a position a keyframe when it's below the red barrier. And then as it pops up, I will animate this money sign to fly into the sky. And we'll just make sure to easy ease these keyframes. And just like the first one, we'll open up the curves graph and make sure the first keyframe is up high and the second one is pulled in. So we have a super cool animation like this. And then of course we need to blend these two things together. I'm gonna grab my money layer and simply just mask out the parts that shouldn't be revealed yet. So over time, I'll just mask out my text. And so now when you watch that frame by frame, you can see the money pops out with the bars. 
And then of course, if you have the glow effect, we are gonna drop that on our money layer. We're gonna crank up the radius and bring down the threshold, bring up the glow intensity. And we're just gonna create a keyframe for uh, all of these things, threshold, radius, intensity. And over time, as it pops up into the sky, we'll just bring glow radius to zero. And then once you animate the glow of the text to uh, slowly fade away over time to be normal, you've got your money barrier effect. And then bam, let's just watch how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. Effect number four is the 3D tracked 3D text that he uses often to showcase things that are worth different money amounts. And so here in After Effects, I have an island Mr. Beast gave me and it's worth $5 million. So I'm gonna make an animation showcasing that to you. So this is so important. The first step to animating 3D text in After Effects is in the composition that you wanna do this. Hit Control K, it'll bring up your composition settings. And then you wanna to go to 3D Renderer. And you're gonna change your renderer from classic 3D to Cinema 4D. And you don't need Cinema 4D for this to work, and just we're, we're gonna hit OK. And then, of course, now we need to select our scene, and we're gonna go to Tracker and Track Camera. And then once you see all your Skittles have popped up, you can place a target. I'll just place a target right here, and I'll right click, and I'm gonna create text and camera. And I will just move the text to wherever I want. And I'll type in $5 million. All right, this looks really good. And so now here's the new update to After Effects. So if you drop down um, your text layer, you'll see you'll see geometry options. And right here, extrusion depth, we're just gonna crank that up. So now you can see our text is turning 3D. And so still like any text layer, if you wanted to, you could change the font of this and the fill color. I'm gonna change it to green. And I know it looks pretty weird right now, but all we have to do is go to layer, new, and light. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put a parallel light. And so this light will always be parallel with the text no matter where you move it and our text is now officially lit up. So now to stylize the text, under in the text layer you'll see material options which will drop down. And to make it look a little bit more metallic you'll see right here diffuse. I'm just gonna crank that up to 100. So now you can see the text has a little more shiny edge to it. Just like in the Beast Game show, we can animate the text to pop in. So under effects and presets you'll see animation presets. We're gonna go to text presets and then at the top one you'll see 3D text. So now all of these 3D text animations can be applied because this is now a 3D text layer. And my favorite is 3D rotate in by character X. If you drop that onto your layer, watch what happens. Now our 3D text has an incredible animation popping onto screen. You can play around with different versions of these, but that one's my favorite, very poppy. And once you like everything that you have, let's pre-compose everything but our original layer, and we're just gonna call this money layer. So our text is like its own thing, and the reason we're doing this is so that we can apply effects onto it. Let's say, I wanted to apply the glow effect onto it. So now I can make this glow or look however I want. I can apply a drop shadow like right here to make it pop out even more. And if you combine all these things together, you're gonna get a sexy look like this. <laughs> so that is how you do the Beast Games 3D text animations in your own videos. And then the fifth and last effect is the player profile icons that they frequently use, sometimes showing off players that aren't on screen or when they show a map, they use these cool icons of the players to show where they are. So I'm gonna show you how to do those really quick. So I took this character here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this clip right click on it, hit time, and freeze frame. So I just have a picture of this dude here. And then I'm gonna come up to the shape layer and I'll grab the polygon tool and I'll make a shape. By the way, we'll turn the fill on for this one and we'll get rid of the stroke for now. In the layer contents panel on the right, we'll change the points to six because it's a hexagon in the show. Rotate it to be straight. So we're gonna duplicate the shape layer and on this top one, we're actually gonna get rid of the fill. We're gonna create a big juicy stroke. I'll make the stroke blue like in the show. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this freeze frame or the picture and I'm going to grab the track mat and attach it to the first shape layer. So I'll get rid of a bottom clip. So now I can move the picture and it will only be inside the shape. And I can change the stroke of that top shape layer to be however big I want. And this is super important. If we wanna move all of this around, we'll create a new null object, and we're just gonna attach the picture and the shape layers to it. So now we can move around our badge like this. So we have our footage here, and I'll put this dude's badge right here in the corner. 
And with the null object, I'll scale it up. And then on this border here, what we're gonna do is in effects and presets, we're gonna type in bevel alpha. We'll put that on our layer. And if we crank up edge thickness, you can see we're creating kind of like a 3D border like you see in the show. I think that looks really good. And then in effects and presets, we'll type in glow. We'll just crank the radius up on that and the glow intensity so it's real bright. And then once you have your cool badge and border, grab your text tool, of course, and we'll type in this guy's number. I'm gonna imagine it's 345. But anyways, you put your number right here. And again, you can always move around your image however you want. And if you wanna do it exactly how the show is, you'll add a glow on there, make it pretty bright. And then this also has the Venetian blinds effect on it in the show. So you change the direction to 90, transition completion, and then the width. And then in the glow, I saw in the show that the text is a little bit blue. So right here where it says, glow colors, you'll change it to A and B colors. And right here, color B will change it to blue. And color A will change it to blue. So it kind of has a blue glow to it. And for good sake, we'll add a drop shadow just to give it a nice little defined 3D edge there. And now for the fun part in the show, you see it kind of flickers. So go to glow intensity, hold alt and click on it. And we'll type in wiggle 10 comma point so now if I isolate this border, you can see now that it's flickering, giving it a nice little subtle animation. It just makes it look way more dynamic, you know? And we'll do the exact same thing to the text layer. So on glow intensity, we'll alt click on it and type in wiggle 10.5. Actually for the text, I'll make it a bit slower. I'll do 4.5. So now you see our little like badge icon of our character has a little subtle animation. When make sure any new layer you create, you attach it to the null object so then you can move the whole thing together and you can add the cool blue effect to your character so those are five more effects from mr beast game show if anyone wants to request an effect or a tutorial leave it in the comment section below or if you have any editing questions leave them in the comments and i'll respond i hope everyone enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new today and now i'd like to thank my amazing sponsor squarespace I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers a nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.